The photographic series we produced for Fabrica is a series of anonymous portraits. We met the residents of Morscombe Bevendine over yeah. a series of months and interacted with different community groups. Uh, it was a technique we'd already been playing with before. It's in pastoing thickly painted paint over a portrait in which to capture someone's essence. The pieces that we shot of the people that we met, it was very important to us that it's not kind of just this magnifying glass into somebody's life. It's about this group message of, of how we personally wanted to tell this story and the things that inspired us and we found of interest. And there were lots of really beautiful things that we found of interest, but that painting process is like, it's a very slow process and we kind of, it feels almost like a kind of sculpting process because we leave lines in there so you can tell certain elements of what's going on in that image. And it can trick your eye. It can feel like you can see the photograph underneath, but you can't. But in lots of ways, you can't tell in some contexts whether that's a man or a woman or how old somebody is. And I think it's interesting to kind of look into these lives and look into the act of storytelling itself with this kind of this element taken out of it. So it kind of has that reflection back on the viewer, on the viewer's mind. We are telling a story. So we're not documentary photography makers. We're not, we make art. We don't really, we didn't want to have come at it from this kind of classic documentary. Here's this person in their environment. So the anonymity has given us this chance to create characters. So that each of the images are named. There are these characters within a kind of mythical play, a sort of story that we are telling of this area. And so, we felt that this act of making people anonymous was also an act of empowerment on their behalf so that they could just be themselves in there. And a lot of people, a lot of people don't actually want to have their photograph taken. So lots of people who wouldn't have been in this series had this not been part of our practice are included. And that was something that was very yeah, nice. It's a very it good way of including a lot of people that generally wouldn't be included in something like this. Yeah, and they were quite happy for having their environments and having what they're doing. And it was a nice way to celebrate those people in that context. So we have two sets of photographic series. So there's one that where the impasto is painted in, in colourful paints that pick out kind of the colours and the things that we felt that was grouping the whole group of works together. And then there are five works that are 16 by 20 and they were all overpainted in in, well, they have clay, they have bowl that's put on top of them, and then they have like 24 karat gold leaf that's hand laid on top of that. And those pieces, because all of the photographic works are shown within the area of the chancel where the altar of the church is. And so this has this kind of reflection upon the stained glass windows and the way that we receive kind of iconography and, and imagery within churches anyway. And so where the ones that have opaque colors on top give this element of the colourful nature of the church windows in that way. And the ones that are gilded are kind of play with another aspect of churches. And each of these is representing an element of a story rather than a character within a story. They're representing things like victory and love or compassion or magic. So these are things that we kind of felt, well, these are elements in a kind of classic epic that you would um, have these different elements that would come together to make this great story. And we wanted to inject those into this overall story of this area that's, you know, a suburb of Brighton and, um, and think how, you know, those elements are present in our everyday lives and how important that is to kind of recognize these within our own lives and within other people's lives, like our everyday epic moments and the things that we do things, the heroes and heroines and the kind of magical characters and stories can equally be ourselves in things that we don't necessarily recognise happening in our day-to-day -day life.